Men of Galilee, why gaze and wonder at the heavens? This Jesus, whom you saw ascending into heaven, will return as you saw him go. Alleluia. Our main celebrant at this Mass is Father Ross. Our deacon assisting at this Mass is Deacon Darwin. Let us celebrate this Mass by singing together the hymn 554, Come Christians Join to Sing. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we come together to celebrate the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven as he raised our humanity into the heavenly kingdom. We uh, ask for the special grace that his presence continues here among us as, as we become Jesus' hands and his feet. Uh, as we receive uh, the grace uh, that God wants to give to each one of us through the sacraments of our church. I'll introduce myself a little bit more later after the homily, but I'm Father Ross Parker. I'm familiar to many of you, and so it's an honor to be uh, back with you. I know not the best circumstances, uh, but again, a privilege for me and to see so many uh, well-known people, people uh, love and care for, and, uh, and also many new faces, which I look forward to meeting as well. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you ascended into heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you promised us the Holy Spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Son today ascended to the heavens as the apostles looked on. Grant, we pray, that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth, and we with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that men and women die once, and after this the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil, that is, his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust with our hearts sprinkled clean from evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. The word of the Lord. from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands, and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did in homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, again, we celebrate the Ascension, and I think sometimes the Ascension uh, can be overlooked by us, you know, because it falls, you know, right before Pentecost, you know, the birth of our church, and we kind of think about it, you know, we kind of think about, you know, do we 
wave goodbye to Jesus. Oh, there you go. See you later, Lord. Uh, we'll see you when you come again, you know. And so we don't maybe think enough about the ascension. I think, you know, that's okay just because of when it, when it falls in our liturgical year. But, you know, there's a lot of important things uh, about the ascension of our Lord into heaven. You know, and the first thing is that Jesus doesn't leave us. And so I think a good way to think about it is that uh, he leaves the physical earth so he can lead us, his people, from a good vantage point. You know, like a general, they want to see the battlefield. And so, so Jesus is leading us, uh, his people, or like a football coach. Uh, the head coach usually stays on the field, but I don't know if you know this or not, but there's a lot of coaches who are up in the press box. They want to have a good view of the field uh, so they can call different plays and see what's going on. I think that's a good way for us to think about Jesus' ascension, that he ascends uh, to lead us, his people. It's also another good thing that Jesus ascends to heaven, uh, because if not, he would have stayed, you know, uh, in the Holy Land, because God, because Jesus is truly God and truly man, and so we would have to go to the Holy Land to visit Jesus, and during the coronavirus, I don't know if we would have gotten there to see him and all these things, you know, because we couldn't get on the plane and all that stuff. Uh, and so uh, Jesus uh, leaves this physical realm uh, of earth, ascends into heaven, goes to where we want to be someday. Uh, but he doesn't leave us because we know that Jesus transfers his presence into the sacraments of our church. And so we believe that Jesus is truly present when we celebrate the sacraments. So we know we're having an authentic experience of Christ when we go to the sacraments. And so Jesus doesn't leave us. He, he's where we want to be someday. And he also uh, feeds us, especially in the sacraments of our holy church. And so I think that's a great thing for us to think about on this feast day of the ascension, to remind ourselves as disciples that Jesus is where we want to be someday in the heavenly kingdom, and that he feeds us, he continues to feed us with his sacraments, and the challenge for us is to become what we receive. If we, are, if we receive the body of Christ, we're called to become the body of Christ, to truly be Jesus' hands and his feet as we continue his ministry as his disciples. Sisters and brothers, during this Easter season, let us profess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is see at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Lord is centered into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. We entrust to him our prayers and our petitions. Our response is, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That neither persecution nor apathy, prosperity nor poverty weaken the church's witness to the message of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That our leaders and those of the Ukraine and Russia will seek peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That th those struggling with addiction of any kind find strength and healing, especially in the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the children and teachers killed in Texas, may they rest in peace and may their families know the consolation of faith and hope in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who died serving in the military, 
May the Lord let the light of his face shine on them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Janice Pester, who died last week, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember Shirley Harkin, whose intention we honor at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of all good gifts. Through your intercession, our lady, perpetual help in St. Joseph, her spouse, grant to a people of faith what we ask out of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Our preparation song is number 505, We Walk by Faith. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of this holy church. O God, whose only begotten Son, our High Priest, is seated ever living at your right hand to intercede for us. 
Grant that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. For you parted brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us where we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, 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 peace,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
just remain seated for a moment and have a few announcements. Uh, just remember to sign up in the social hall for um, our parish festival, and um, that's on Sunday, June 5th, and also for Vacation Bible School the week of June 6th for kids grades 1 through 6, and the week of June 12th for grades 7 through 12th. Also, we have the parish bus trip to the Cloisters on the Platte and the Holy Family Shrine in Gretna on Thursday, June 9th, and also sign up for next year's faith formation. So that's all uh, in the social hall. And um, also save the date for the Eucharistic procession celebrating the Feast of Corpus Christi on Sunday, June 19th. The procession will start at 1.30 in the afternoon and everyone in town is welcome and invited. So please tell your friend about our procession. And also remembrance of Memorial Day, the parish office will be closed and there will be no adoration in church on Monday the 30th. And we will have a special Mass at St. Joseph's Cemetery at 9 a.m. on Monday. And consider coming to pray and offer Mass for all who have died while serving our country in the armed forces. And please bring a lawn chair or folding chair to use if you wish to sit. In the event of rain, the Mass we moved here to Corpus Christi Queen of Apostles Church. And also during the parish festival, we will be featuring an Ask Father session where you will be able to ask a question uh, to our priests. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I'm going to ask Deacon Darwin. He can answer for me if I, if I don't know it. And so submit your question by June 2nd uh, to be entered in the drawing for a $25 Visa gift card. And you can drop your questions in the boxes here at church or check out the flyer in this week's bulletin for other ways to ask Father. So again, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of Mass, just to kind of talk a little bit about you know what's kind of happening. Um, Sometimes your guess is as good as mine because I got a letter on Monday from Bishop uh, <laughs> saying that I'm the administrator of uh, Corpus Christi Parish and that was all I've basically gotten. So I, I don't know hardly anything. Um, but um, what I can tell you, just a few things. Um, just my name. Uh, for those who don't meet, you can call me Father Ross or Father Parker, whoever is comfortable uh, for you. I was here from 2013 to 2015 as the associate pastor and then I also taught ninth grade at St. Albert and, and worked with the kids receiving their first uh, communion and first reconciliation in second grade. Um, so again, excited to be back. Um, I'm excited to be here because uh, obviously this is what the Holy Spirit wants and this is what the bishop has asked me to do. Uh, and so I want to be here uh, because this is what, what our Lord has asked of me. And so I'm honored to do that in any way that I can to help out. I'm also happy to be with Father Jacob. Uh, he was a seminarian, uh, and, and I'll talk about this later, but uh, he was a seminarian and I was his vocation director. And so I always looked up to Father Jacob, a, a very generous, holy man, a very smart man, if you haven't figured that out yet. So his evaluations, I was like, man, I got to do better. I, I, I got to be like this guy, right? You know, and so, um, so um, also, you know, kind of uh, fortunately or unfortunately, this situation happened to me um, two years ago. I became the administrator of Carlisle Parish uh, while that priest took a leave of absence and it all worked out fine, okay? And so I know this is a little bit more people, a little bit more challenging, but it's okay. It's going to work out fine, okay? <laughs> We're going to be good. Uh, so again, yeah, I've done this before. And just in terms of, you know, communication, um, don't ever assume, oh, Father's too busy. No, we're all busy, okay? <laughs> so if you need to talk. Uh, let me know. Call me. Usually email. Uh, I put my email. Usually that's the best because I have something to look at that I can put on my calendar. Sometimes call. Or if you have my cell phone number or text, um, I'll lose that or I don't think about it. So usually an email is usually the best way to communicate with me uh, if you email. And again, I have an open door policy. Anytime you'd like to talk or meet with me or, or whatever you need, I'm here for you. Um, you know, I don't know anything else. Uh, than for us to grow in holiness together. And so that's, that's what we're going to do. Can't change circumstances. Uh, we're going to grow in holiness. I wish I could tell you more about timelines, time frames, or what exactly is going on, but I don't have any answers. And so I'm just going to be here until I, yeah, I get another letter, okay? So, uh, and that's all we can do. And uh, know of my uh, great, great honor. And again, just to reiterate, this is where I want to be. I'm honored to be here. I'll continue doing my other jobs. And so sometimes, you know, I'll be in and out, uh, but that's kind of part of the deal. Uh, welcome to being a disciple. Uh, we are where God wants us to be. Let us pray. Yeah. 
May the gifts we have received from your altar, Lord, kindle our hearts a longing for the heavenly homeland and cause us to press forward, following in the Savior's footsteps to the place where for our sake he entered before us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Our sending for a song is number 745, America the Beautiful. <clears throat> Yeah. 